Thursday, May 20th, the sun moves in to Gemini, initiating Gemini season. So again, this is a huge shift. The sun is our life force. It is the great illuminator. It is what needs our most energy, most attention. The sun moving out of Taurus, out of that earthy, grounded type of physical sense in Taurus and moving into the airy intellect of Gemini is going to be a dramatic shift. We might all feel a little bit manic at times. Why? Because we've had tunnel vision focusing on one thing at a time and really, you know, not really able to look outside of the blinders that we put on while the sun was in Taurus. We had to think about our physical experience. We had to think about relationships and money and what it is we were trying to grow and manifest. And now with the sun in Gemini, we just want information. We want to pop in to our mental plane and explore every single idea and every single thought. And we want to express that. And anytime that we have something that comes to mind, we don't really have a very good filter on our throat chakras at this time. We just kind of say it. We splurge. We want to socialize. We want to learn. We want to bring in all the data, all the statistics, all the new information. We want to be able to just explore all things in our mental realm. So like I had mentioned, this Gemini energy is represented by the twins. There is a huge division taking place, again, between our heart and our head. Even in that heart space, we have conflicting, dividing feelings. In our mental plane, we have choices and decisions and thoughts that are very extreme, very polar opposite, that we have to really inform and explore as we try to find middle ground. So the division doesn't only happen within us, it happens outside of us as well. You might see a division between you and another group of people. You might enter into a social exchange where you have a debate or express, you know, your new thoughts or explore new opinions and be very non-received by whoever it is that you're speaking these ideas to. But we want to keep putting ourselves in these social awkward situations. Why? Because that's what Gemini wants to do. He wants to be in the middle of things. He wants to kind of spark a little bit of an internal bait. He wants to play devil's advocate for a lot of the situations. But most of all, this energy is kind of upbeat, even though we can get our little panties in a bunch when we, you know, are challenged by other people with different ideas and different opinions. But at the same time, we are in experimentation and explore mode. Gemini is very curious energy. We want to touch on a little bit of everything. So if Taurus season was low and slow because we needed to recharge, well, our, we are fully charged moving into Gemini season and we just hit the ground running and we literally just want to dabble in whatever captures our interest at that time. So, you know, things can kind of get a little bit chaotic. Like I had mentioned with Mercury first moving into Gemini's energy, we're a little bit scatterbrained or we're hyper focused. We're a little bit restless and we can really get bored. We're going to have a hard time seeing things through to completion because we just want to jump into the next thing and then something else excites us and our attention is over there. And, you know, Gemini energy is very... ADHD. If I was to put a mental health uh, diagnosis on the zodiac signs, you know, Gemini is where we all become a little bit ADHD. So, you know, our attention span is very short. We have zero filter when it comes to communicating our thoughts and feelings, which can get us in a lot of trouble. And again, as this Gemini energy builds, we are going to see a dramatic acceleration of thoughts and ideas and learning and data and info and statistics, shifting our perspective, helping us to bridge the gap between our original positions of being divided in our heart space, in our head space, of being divided in our relationships as well. So the best thing that I can kind of say to you is think before you speak especially as we build towards the end of the month and we have Mercury go retrograde, like that's when things get messy because our communication sucks 
and we speak without thinking and we cause a little bit of drama where there doesn't need to be any. And so, you know, at this particular point in the month, we are definitely in that shadow period of Mercury going retrograde and communication and expressing ourselves is definitely going to start failing. So take that as a caution. Be very mindful. We don't want to bite our tongues, but we want to think about what it is that we're saying because the consequences of just blurting out whatever comes into our little ADH brains at this particular point in time could cause a lot of mess that we will have to clean up after Mercury goes direct.